different variant, one that fans are very, very, very highly anticipating. Tell me about this guy. <laughs> there will be conquering. <laughs> And I want to point one more thing out, uh, Peyton, Kevin, no, 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 I look like Modoc. There might have been a, yeah, there might have been a shot of Modoc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, just wanted to confirm. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed. And then in the Wasp, Quantumania kicks off phase five. <laughs> of the Galaxy Volume 3. <laughs> It wouldn't be San Diego Comic-Con without footage leaking that was exclusive to the event. What do I mean by that? Ant-Man 3, Quantum Mania, Guns of the Galaxy Volume 3 footage was exclusive to people that paid their hard-earned money to attend this event. So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube boys to do here if you are new around here? Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture-based content that we do on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and comment down below how freaking hyped are you for Marvel Phase 5 and Phase 6. If you could, follow me on Instagram at Warstu if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. And also check us out on Twitter, Warstu G. So we have the footage. It's literally on YouTube and on Twitter. For copyright reasons, I can't put any footage in this video or else I'll get a copyright claim, and it's not just worth it, but loads of outlets and trades have put descriptions online of exactly what we're seeing. So, according to comicbook.com, this is what happens in the trailer. Scott Lang is reading excerpt from his book to a crowd. He hasn't been in action in a while. Jail calls his phone. He picks up Cassie Lang from prison. He wants her help, but he doesn't want her wasting her life. He talks about saving the world and Hank Pym calls him for constantly pointing that out, which Janet and Hope also chime in on. Now, this is the most interesting part. Obviously, it's not going to say every single little detail, but like I said, it's on YouTube and on Twitter. In fact, it's probably on TikTok and it's probably on Instagram as well. This is the most interesting part. You're an interesting man, Scott Lang Kang says. You've lost a lot of time, but time isn't what you think. It's not a straight line. Interesting as Kang the Conqueror is a time-based villain. Everything you're holding on to, everything you call life, I know how it ends. Kang says, Scott tells him he's made a mistake because he's an Avenger. You're an Avenger. Kang, have I killed you before? Oh, this is such a tease. Freaking such a tease. Because as you know, he's a time-based villain. Are they going to go forward in time? Well, we do have information from a plot leak, which implies they don't. But if you do get to see the trailer footage, you don't really get to see what Kang looks like. But we did get the exclusive poster the day before Comic-Con, which kind of revealed Kang in a roundabout way. And it was confirmed in this trailer that Bill Murray is in this movie, but we already know this. It was also confirmed that Modoc appears in this movie, just like we told you in the plot leak video that we did about a week ago. And most of the information from said plot leak literally does confirm what was seen in the trailer and also john majors said it san diego comic-con 2022 i tried to put the footage in but copyright claims are very weird when it comes to using people's footage for comic-con specifically it says this kang will be doing conquering so as we know there will be multiple variances of kang throughout phase five because that's literally what loki season one taught us right at the end he's like you're gonna meet my variants and they're not as nice as i am so freaking hyped for this movie as we know, it's building up to Avengers 5, Kang's Dynasty. So we know Kang the Conqueror is going to be very important. And then it goes straight through to Avengers Secret Wars, which is going to heavily involve Kang. But which version of Kang? And Doctor Doom, because it's just got to realistically. So I do find it very interesting. This footage, the they will drop a trailer, but this movie doesn't come out till next year. So at the moment, there's no point in them dropping a the trailer. I think they were right just to drop the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer because they need to get people hyped for that before we get the Phase 5 hype reel on Overdrive. But we do know a lot of this movie will take place in the Quantum Realm. So, Gunners of the Galaxy Volume 3. James Gunn has confirmed it will be the last one in the franchise. But that does not mean everyone dies. So, we've also got a more in-depth description of what happened at San Diego Comic-Con. So, Guardians 3 footage sees the Guardians captured by the Ravengers. 
and Nebula reveals they have an appointment with Gamora. As we know, it's not our Gamora, it's one from early in the timeline. Peter Quill is caught all the way off guard. Peter reflects on their time together. You were everything to me, he says. I thought you were gone, but you're here and I miss you. Gamora tells him that person wasn't her. So it's cool they make it clear it's a different Gamora. We get our first look at Adam Warlock. A grown Groot fights back to back with Quill, the High Evolutionary, which was kind of revealed the costume at San Diego Comic Con. The Guardians float on a space planet. Gamora capped the trailer by calling Quill by the wrong name, turning him down. The Guardians joke on Quill for taking to her, so immediately on an open communication line. And they've been listening all along. It ends with Mantis asking what we know about Rocket. A shot of a very young Rocket raccoon takes the screen. Much of this trailer was set to Do You Realize by Flaming Lips. So this confirms we will be getting a backstory for Rocket, as we know, it is highly rumored based on leaks and rumors that the High Evolutionary will actually, in fact, be behind the creator. He will be the creator of Rocket. It's also highly rumored that everyone in the Guardians of the Galaxy will die. But just because this is the end of an era doesn't actually mean that. James Gunn also confirmed that. I do find it interesting that James Gunn calls out scoopers who get things wrong. And they're like, yeah, you're trying to ruin my movie. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. I do find that kind of interesting that he does call them out. So as we know, this movie essentially follows Star-Lord, Bill Reel in from the Lost of Gamora, who must rally his team to defend the universe along whilst protecting one of their own missions, I guess you could say. If not completed, could lead to the end of the Guardian. So yeah, as we said earlier in the video, James Gunn has confirmed that. And literally, if you want to see the footage for yourself, it is all over Twitter. It is all over YouTube. It's everywhere. But as we said, we don't get, want to get a copyright claim. It's also been confirmed that Cosmo is in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 movie, which is cool. If you play the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy video game, Cosmo is in that. Cosmo is a cool freaking character. But yeah, James Gunn did confirm that at San Diego Comic Con. This is the end of an era for the Guardians. But he also did confirm this doesn't mean they die. So it is fantastic. We do get our first look at Adam Warlock, but not really an official one unless you at the event. Like I say, I'm not going to put any leaked footage in this video, but I am looking forward to seeing the trailer for both of them as I feel like Phase 5 is really going to kick everything going. As you know, Phase 4 has been bland, boring, and basic because it's been world building. If Kevin Feige actually said where everything was leading to, I think this phase would have got a lot less hate. Now, what is interesting is one of the most reliable Twitter scoopers said that he had heard that Kevin Feige and co has plans for the next 10 years to do with Marvel. So they already hypothetically know what the next phase is. That is freaking insane, said Daniel RPK. It was reported a few months ago that Feige and co already got plans 10 years ahead, meaning they already know what the next saga is going to be. Which is freaking insane, guys, because we already know Phase 5 and Phase 6. What is Phase 7 going to be? And then we're going to do some other videos later on down the week or in a few weeks because Secret Wars means a lot. Toby, Andrew, Patrick Stewart, Hugh Jackman, Robert Downey Jr., War Stew, everyone, Chris Evans, Captain America, allegedly, before they officially confirm Secret Wars was happening, but we did know because of the incursions and because of what happened in Doctor Strange 2. Secret Wars essentially was confirmed by the incursions, but now Feige's confirmed there is an Avengers Secret Wars, which will be Avengers 6. Does that mean everyone is coming back for Secret Wars alongside the mutants? Fantastic Four, etc. But so far, Phase 5 is looking fantastic. And one of the Wasps, February 17th, 2023. Guns of the Galaxy Volume 3, May the 5th, 2023. The Marvels, July the 28th, 2023. And Blade, played by Mahashali, November the 3rd, 2023. So it is cool. Descriptions for both movies of the Guardians and Ant-Man. Personally, Ant-Man is going to be fire. That is my most anticipated movie for next year, at least when it comes to Marvel. Because Kang, Modoc, Ho, etc. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, comment down below to help the video get pushed out on the algorithm. Also check us out on Instagram at WarsDu to see the face behind the voice. And also check us out on Twitter at WarsDuG. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.